Today I want to continue my discussion of some of the early Eucharistic prayers in Christian history, Eucharistic prayers or anaphoras. Today I want to talk about the Strasbourg uh, papyrus. Uh, the Strasbourg papyrus, uh, a piece of which you can see here, and notice when they talk about fragments, they're not kidding. Look at how much uh, material has to be filled in, how much uh, interpretation there, there needs to be in order to, to complete these fragments. So anyway, the Strasbourg papyrus was discovered in the early 20th century, and it contains six fragments of an early anaphora. Um, it's an illustration of an early liturgy from the Church of Alexandria in Egypt. And it dates back to perhaps as early as 200, the year 200. Um, it's so ancient that it's actually connected with the Jewish uh, morning prayers of the times, known as the Yotzer. Um, both this early anaphora and the Jewish morning prayer celebrate the creative work of God. But of course, the and Christian anaphora praises the creative work of Christ as well as the Father. That's the addition that it makes to it. This um, Alexandrian anaphora was influenced as well by a, a group of Jewish monks in Egypt who were called the Therapeutae. Um, there are connections between their morning prayers and the Alexandrian anaphora. Uh, both of them are focused on the themes of worship and sacrifice. So what we see here is uh, an early Eucharistic prayer, a Eucharistic prayer that's so early that it retains its connections to uh, Judaism. Um, this particular anaphora is extremely important because it helped shape the Eucharistic liturgy of another important early Christian center, Antioch. It also helped to shape the Roman canon, which uh, became the standard of the Eucharistic prayer for many, many centuries in the Roman Catholic Church. Thank you once again for watching. I hope you have found this of interest. I can't wait to be able to present this material uh, in person when we're all able to get back together. Thanks a lot.